high-tech weapons used in the Michael Jackson feature Moonwalker are anything but simple. Here's Sid Stembridge to tell us how he modified a contemporary assault rifle and gave it a futuristic look. This type of weapon was picked by the company to be used. This is called an HK-94. And what we did, this is the beginning of it, and they were put, to put a whole shell around it to have it work as a futuristic type weapon. So it started like this, and it ended up looking, basically, this is what was used in Moonwalker as one of the futuristic guns. These were, these were machine guns were set up. This plastic casing was all built by a special effects fabrication company with our help showing them what exactly had to be done to make sure the gun would function properly during the taking. From futuristic laser guns to turn-of-the-century pistols, the Stembridge arsenal has handled Hollywood's weapons needs for over 70 years. The beginning of the Stembridge gun rentals started in about 1920, approximately. Uh, my father's uncle, uh, James Sidney Stembridge, started the business with C.B. DeMille. And for the motion picture industry, they, they knew there was going to be and, had, and was a need for weapons of all types. So my dad's uncle started collecting firearms and has come to this. The Stembridge gun collection has, in fact, grown to be one of the largest in the world, featuring a wide variety of rare museum-quality weapons. Here's Stembridge weapons master Larry Merrill. You'll notice over here racks of military rifles. We have each specific model in depth, maybe a couple of hundred. 1873 trapdoor Springfields, Crags, LaBelle's, Mausers, in depth to supply military movies. These are U.S. military rifles from, let's see, the date on this is 1840. It's called the Halls, H-A-L-L, carbine. These were issued to the U.S. military in 1840. Stembridge weapons have appeared in countless films over the years, like The Alamo with John Wayne and Glory with Matthew Broderick. Larry Merrill explains how such weapons are first acquired. Many of these guns were acquired between the 20s and the 30s, when they were considered curios or actually almost junk, and they were quite affordable. Today, these are many of these guns are museum quality, and they just cannot be replaced. Whether it involves ray guns or six shooters, Hollywood loves a gun battle. <laughs> 